So hello everybody and welcome to your next SML 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be doing a quick overview on events. So this isn't isn't going to be a large tutorial but uh, before diving into delving into the different types of events uh, might as well talk more in depth on what events are. So first of all we should know what this is. Uh, this right here, we should know what it is, and this is a game loop. So within a game loop, everything in a game runs within the game loop because essentially everything in the game loops. So you'll p update the player, draw the player, update the enemy, draw the enemy, so on and so forth, and it's a continuous loop, right? And uh, so within that game loop, we create uh, an event, right? And it's an instance of the event class. And in, after that event, we call, we make a loop that says window.pole event, and we put in the event in there. So this is how events work. So whenever you trigger something, whether you trigger moving a window, whether it's resizing a window, whether it's pressing a keyboard button, whether it's clicking the mouse button, you are triggering what is known as an event. What this while loop does is that it says if there is an event, whatever you trigger event, it goes into uh, a, say a queue, sort of like a line, right? So let's say you are uh, at an amusement park and you're to line up for um, a roller coaster, right? Uh, if you're the first in line, then you'll be the first one to get on it and so on and so forth. So this is how pole event works. So whenever you press in uh, a key, it goes into a queue. And what pull event does is that it, it pulls what it it processes what what event was put into that a queue from um from what was first inputted. So if you press the A button or whatever, then it will process what you press in the A uh when you press the A button and so on and so forth. So right now with our events, we have an event dot type and our event type is equal to SF event closed. And that means that if we close the window in any sort of way using a key event, pressing the close button or whatever, then it's going to trigger window.close, which is going to close uh, the game window, okay? Now, as well as poll event, there is also something called wait event, right? And what we're going to do right here is we're going to say if window.wait event and uh well this should be inside no we'll say if window dot wait event put the event in there and then we do something so what this does right here is that it waits until an event hits the event queue and then after that it continues with the rest of the program so now let's see the difference with this and without this so let me comment this out So when we run this, we get a regular black screen. And let's uncomment this. And right here, we get a white screen. And then it turns black. That's because it waited for an event to process. It waited for an event to process. And then after it processed that event, then it called window uh, dot display. So that's how a wait event, uh, how it works. So it waits for an event to happen. So let's create something, uh, uh, let's create something quickly. So let's just say, uh, let's include the string class. And let's say, um, or actually, we'll just put to the console window, press enter to continue, or press a key to continue. Okay, so that's what's gonna display be displayed uh, to the console window. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if window dot wait event. So if they 
uh, it shouldn't really be press the key. It should be activated an event or whatever. But once they do, once they activate an event or something, then we're gonna write this to uh, the screen. Uh, event activated or something. So now we're just gonna run this. Or let me stop debugging first. Gonna run this. So it says press a key to continue, right? And when we move or or something or press anything, then an event is activated, okay? And it activates that and it says um it it processes that to the screen. So whenever we activate an event, then it does this. This one, if no event is in the poll, it will just continue. But uh, if an event is in the poll, then it processes that event and does something with it. So, uh, this is relatively simple. It was a really easy tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will be looking into uh, keyboard events. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye.